How's it going, people? I am doing very well. It's a balmy evening up on Mount Hope. I don't need any heat. It's been like a, got like an Indian summer going on. Just took this out of the fridge, uh, out of the freezer. It's all frosted up. Brand new. Thought a little Jägermeister might be in order for the evening. Very nice. It's high class cough syrup. But nice. Decided I'd read a little more of this. Because I'm sure it's uh, starting to get good. I mean, this is, you know, in the uh, in a day before Carthage jail and all that. But we're getting close. So. We left off, uh, um, let's see, yeah, section 115. All right, uh, Revelation, given through Joseph Smith the prophet at Far West, Missouri, April 26, 1838. Making known the will of God concerning, uh, the building up of that house and of the Lord's house. This revelation is addressed to the presiding officers of the church, the official name, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the official name, uh, uh, confirmed by the Lord. Can't get a higher authority than that, can you? Far West, to be a holy and consecrated place. Far West, Missouri, huh? If anybody knows of its current state, uh, please let me know. I've only passed through that area once. Best thing about it was passing through it. Paradise. All right, uh, uh, commandment to build a house of the Lord there in far west Missouri. The first presidency not to incur debts for the building of the, of the house unto the Lord. Yeah, you know, just let your sheep give it to you because you never have to pay them back. <laughs> Throw some crumbs their way to a few special cases, and suddenly you've got sainthood. <sighs> okay, let's start this off, because it sounds epic. One, verily, thus saith the Lord unto you, my servant Joseph Smith, Jr., and also to my servant Sidney Rigdon, and also my servant Hiram Smith, and your counselors, who are and shall be appointed hereafter. Two. And unto you, my servant Edward Partridge, and his counselors. Three, and unto my faithful servants who are of the high council of my church in Zion. <sighs> For thus it shall be called, and unto all the elders and people of my church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, scattered abroad in all the world. So Missouri is pretty damn important. That's why they end up in Utah. <laughs> <clears throat> <sighs> mm. 
just right to my head. Okay. Five. Verily, I say unto you all, arise and shine forth, that thy light may be a standard for the nations. I mean, they had the Olympics. That was good. Well, Salt Lake. Salt Lake. Uh, all right. Six. And that the gathering together upon the land of Zion and upon her stakes may be for a defense and for a refuge from the storm and from wrath when it shall be poured out without mixture upon the whole earth. 1838, huh? This is... Okay. <clears throat> Seven. Let the city far west be a holy and consecrated land unto me, and it shall be called most holy. For the ground upon which thou standeth is holy. Eight. Therefore, I command you to build a house unto me. <sighs> For the gathering together of my saints, that they may worship me in all humility. <sighs> Nine. And let there be a beginning of this work and a foundation and a preparatory work this following summer. 10. And let the beginning be made on the 4th day of July. Next. July 1839. Okay. And from that time forth, let my people labor diligently to build a house unto my name. 11. And in one year from this day, let them recommence laying the foundation of my house. 12. Thus, let them from that time forth labor diligently until it shall be finished from the cornerstone, cornerstone thereof unto the top thereof until there shall not anything remain that is not finished. Direct quote. 13. Verily say unto you, Let not my servant Joseph, neither my servant Sidney, neither my servant Hiram, get in debt any more for the building of a house unto my name. The Lord will provide, no doubt, through his sheep. <sighs> Fourteen. But let a house be built unto my name according to the pattern which I will show unto them. 15. And if my people build it not according to the pattern, which I shall show unto them, uh, which I shall show unto their presidency, I will not accept it at their hands. 16. But if my people do build it according to the pattern which I shall show unto their presidency, even my servant Joseph and his counselors, then I will accept it at the hands of my people. But only then. 17. Hang on. We're almost, we're almost through, I promise. I haven't had this in a long time. Should have worn my Jägermeister t-shirt. That would have been... Yeah. 
that would have been lame. So never mind. Where was I? 16. But if my people do build it according to the pattern, which I shall show unto their presidency, even my servant Joseph and his counselors, then I will accept it at the hands of my people. I've read that already. 17. And again, verily I say unto you, it is my will that the city of Far West should be built up speedily by the gathering of my saints. Just don't incur any new debts for the higher-ups. 18. And also that other places should be appointed for stakes in the region round about as they shall be manifested unto my servant Joseph from time to time. Mm. 19. For behold, I will be with him, Joey, Jr., and I will sanctify him before the people, for unto him have I given the keys of this kingdom and ministry, through him, for him, and to him. Yeah. It all starts and ends with Joey. <laughs> then it goes on after he's gone, just like LRH. <sighs> Even so, amen. And that's it. You know, 116 is just a fortune cookie message. Let's do it. All right. Revelation. Given to Joseph Smith the prophet near White's Ferry at a place called Spring Hill. Uh, Davis County, Missouri. May 19th. 1838, wherein Spring Hall is named by the Lord. Uh, and then we got quotations here. Adam on the Amen. Uh, because he said, it is the place where Adam shall come to visit his people of the Ancient of Days shall sit, as spoken by Daniel the prophet, and that's it for section 116. It's like, oh, footnote, see Daniel. We needed a whole damn chapter for that. Anyhow, should I do another? All right, one more. But I got to pour out one more, sorry. <sighs> Starting to wear off, I think. Just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> Section 117, Revelation, given through Joseph Smith the Prophet at Far West, Missouri, July 8th, 1838. Concerning the immediate duties of certain elders William Marks, Newell K. Whitney, Oliver Granger, uh, imperative commands. What is property unto the Lord? And that's the end of the masthead, which summarizes up the section. So get ready to learn some shit here. One, verily, thus saith the Lord unto my servant, William Marks, and also unto my servant Newell K. Whitney, let them settle up their business speedily and journey from the land of Kirtland before I. The Lord send again the snows upon the earth. Two. Let them awake and arise and come forth and not tarry. 
for I, the Lord, command it. 3. Therefore, if they tarry, it shall not be well with them. So, get a move on. Get the let out. That came from God. He says you're some lazy fucks. All right. Four. Let them repent of all their sins and of all their uh, covetous desires. Before me, uh, saith the Lord, for what is property unto me? Saith the Lord. We all like to know. We wait with bated breath. Five. Let the properties of Kirtland be turned out for debts. Hmm. Saith the Lord. Let them go, saith the Lord. And whatsoever remaineth, let it remain in your hand, saith the Lord. So Captain Obvious strikes again. Six. For have I not the fowls of the heaven, and also the fish of the sea, and the beasts of the uh, mountains? Have I not made the earth? Do I not hold the destinies of all the armies of the nations of the earth? Seven. Therefore, Will I not make solidarity places to bud and to blossom, and to bring forth an abundance, saith the Lord? These are all direct quotes, you know, from God. Eight. Is there not room enough on the mountains of Adam, Andi, Haman? And on the plains of Olaha, Shinha, or the land where Adam dwelt, that you should covet that which is but a drop, and neglect the more weighty matters. Missouri, huh? That's where Adam dwelt, huh? That's where they get that. Nine. Therefore, come up hither unto the land of my people, even Zion. Ten. Let my servant William Marks be faithful over a few things, and he shall be a ruler over many. He'll be like a regional manager, a supervisor. Efficiency expert, something like that. All right. <laughs> and he shall be a ruler over many things. Uh, many. Uh, let him preside in the midst of my people in the city of far west. And let him be blessed with the blessings of my people. Eleven. Let my servant Newell K. Whitney be ashamed of the uh, Nicolaitine, Nicolaitine band and of all their secret abominations and of all his littleness of soul before me, saith the Lord, and come up to the land of Adam on D, Amen, and be a bishop unto my people, saith the Lord, not in a name, but not in name, but in deed, saith the Lord. Twelve. I need another drink. <sighs> this is just getting too heavy, man. We're almost done. I feel a nap coming on. <laughs> All right. 
12. And again I say unto you, I remember my servant Oliver Granger. He just occurred to me again. I forgot about him, but now I remember. All right. Uh, Behold, verily I say unto him that his name shall be had in sacred remembrance from generation to generation. Whoever the fuck he was again? Uh, Oliver Granger, excuse me. They must have statues for him or something. Or this just somehow got it wrong. Uh, forever and ever, saith the Lord. So remember that Oliver Granger guy. Okay, forever. Uh, Thirteen. Therefore, let him contend earnestly for the redemption of the first presidency of my church, saith the Lord. And when he falls, he shall rise again. Get up, bitch. You're not done. <laughs> Get out there and earn my money. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just help it. Oh, okay. For his sacrifices shall be more sacred unto me than his increase. Oh, really? saith the Lord. That's nice. I think I'd rather have a different deal myself. 14. Therefore, let him come up hither speedily unto the land of Zion. That's the one in Missouri. Uh, and in the due time he shall be made a merchant unto my name. So be Pimpin' for the LDS. Saith the Lord, for the benefit of my people. Yeah. Fifteen. Therefore, let no man despise my servant Oliver Granger. You gotta remember that guy forever and fondly. You should put him on Mount Rushmore. Or um, oh I don't know, the Hill of Camorra or something. I don't know. Uh, but let the blessings of my people be on him forever and ever. 16. And again, I verily I say unto you, let all my servants in the land of Kirtland, Ohio, remember the Lord their God, and mine house also to keep and preserve it holy. And to overthrow the money changers in mine. Is it, wasn't he just supposed to be like a merchant earlier and not a money changer? I guess not exactly. Yeah. All right. In mine own due time, saith the Lord, even so amen. And I think that's good enough. So. That was uh, 117. And um, please chime in. Tell me if you learned something, if you had a revelation. I want to hear what you're thinking about, you know, and ideas for other videos. I know these are, these don't do well, but I'm doing them anyway because obviously I give a colossal fuck. Glad that some of you are watching them. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.